Hello everyone, welcome to GK Today. All the videos of GK Today are absolutely free and available on GK Today's YouTube channel. And if you are looking for interactive quizzes in text and also their solutions, please download GK Today's Academy Android app. We have several free and paid courses in that app. Now this particular series is of 60 videos. And in each video, we are going to discuss select 15 questions and we shall also do 500 test questions after end of this series. So the first question is, in which among the following parts of Constitution of India are enshrined the fundamental duties? You have the following options and the correct answer is option C, that is part 4th A. See, this 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act that came in the year 1976 added a new part in the Constitution, that is part 4th A. Now, it incorporated fundamental duties by inserting a new article, Article 51A, below Article 51. Now, the objective of incorporating the fundamental duties is to place before the country a code of conduct which the citizens are expected to follow. The next question is, protection of wildlife comes under which of the following in Constitution of India? Fundamental duties, directive principles, or the seventh schedule. So you have to select the correct options from the quotes given below. And the correct answer is option D. See, the protection of wildlife was incorpor incorporated in the constitution via 42nd amendment by adding article 48A, which mandates that states shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country. The same amendment also include forest and protection of wild animals in the concurrent list uh, under the 7th schedule under article 256 of the constitution. Further, protection of wildlife is also enshrined in article 51 A G of the constitution that it shall be the fundamental duty of every citizen to protect and improve the natural environment including forest and wildlife. The next question is which among the following is not a fundamental duty of a citizen? You have the following options and the correct answer is option D that is respect for the government. See, respect for the government of the day is not a fundamental duty as such, whereas respect for the constitution, respect for the national flag and respect for the national anthem are the fundamental duties of a citizen. The next question is, which of the following statements are incorrect with respect to fundamental duties? You have the following options and the correct answer is option C that they can be enforced by rates. See, the fundamental duties cannot be enforced by rates. They have been defined as the moral obligations of all the citizens to help promote a spirit of patriotism and to uphold the unity of India. Moving on with the next question. So our next question is, which one of the following is a part of the fundamental duties in the Constitution of India? You have the following options and the correct answer is option A that is to value and preserve the rich heritage of our country. According to Article 51 AF of the Constitution of India, it shall be the duty of every citizen of India to value and preserve the rich heritage of the country's composite culture. The next question is, how many fundamental duties are there in the Constitution of India? So you have the following options and the correct answer is 11. C. There are 11 fundamental duties in the Constitution of India. However, originally there were 10. The 11th duty that is to provide opportunities for education to child or ward between the age of 6 to 14 years was added by the 86th Constitutional Amendment Act of 2002. The next question is, which of the following is not a fundamental duty? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option A, that is to protect monuments and places of public importance. Option 1 is incorrect as the statement to protect monuments and places of public importance is not mentioned under Article 51A of the Constitution of India. All other statements are part of Article 51A and the protection of monuments and places and the objects of national importance is in Article 49 under the Directive Principles. Now, the next question is, 
which of the following committees is related to the fundamental duties in the constitution of india now you have the following options different commissions or committees and the correct answer is option a that is verma committee see the verma committee which was constituted on fundamental duties of the citizens in 1999 identified the existence of a legal provisions for the implementation of some of the fundamental duties which committee recommended for penalty or punishment for the non performance of fundamental duties now you have the following options and the correct answer is option c that is swaran singh committee see the swaran singh committee which suggested the incorporation of fundamental duties in the constitution had recommended for penalty or punishment for the non performance of fundamental duties now the last question for this video is which of the following statements are correct regarding fundamental duties statement first some of them are moral duties while others are civic duties statement 2 parliament is free to enforce them by suitable legislation so you have to select the correct option from the codes given below and the correct answer is option c that both 1 and 2 are correct see the fundamental duties consist of some of moral duties and some civic duties however there is not legal sanctions against their violation but the parliament is free to enforce them by suitable legislation